Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're watching Transport Fever here at Sioux Falls where, uh, well, there's obviously some trains happening. Uh, probably because we put quite a lot of trains down here last time. And uh, there's one just, just doing the slowdown now. Um, and uh, it, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a goodly amount. I think we've got two coming out and another two coming in. Uh, one you can see now, the other one should come into shot any time soon. Uh, now, I've rolled forward to... Uh, well, midway through 1933, and as you can see, I've got cash again, uh, and that can only lead to uh, to good. I'm going to move the camera just like that so it doesn't clip. Yeah, see, because you know I'm not new to this. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's 1933. Got loads of money, and that means we're going to spend it um, on uh, on a bit more expansion. Uh, we've got one uh, one project-based item to do first in order to keep things running a little more smoothly, and hopefully that's not going to take all day. Uh, because I'd, I'd like to get on to, uh, to setting up a new goods route. I'd like to. Uh, whether or not we, we accomplish that today or not, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, there were two coming in. One was being masked by the other one. There they are. Look. Uh, any more? For any more? For any more? Yeah, there's another one, but it's miles away. Anyway, uh, right. So, look, I mean, you know, the map is starting to look pretty busy. Um, and that's terrific. Uh, so, uh, so join me, won't you, uh, after the uh, bombastic intro where we shall tackle this junction that I have spent uh, some time mentioning that we will be tackling. Let's do it. Now, this isn't the most complicated of, uh, of operations to undertake here. I mean, the, the dream is uh, that what we end up with uh, is that the freight line can go on itself uh, when it suits it, it to, uh, to to go and hit up the uh, the, the food manufacturing area over here, uh, which is doing rather splendidly, uh, while we don't interfere with the uh, the smooth operation of uh, of passenger routes uh, that run up and down here. Now, the only reason that is in any way complex is because we have uh, this route coming in uh, that has to cross over the uh, the, the primary goods route. Um, and given the number of trains that I'm currently running, finding the right time to pause everything is uh, is going to prove just a little bit difficult. So uh, I don't have an answer to that. I do have an answer to that. Maybe we leave the old one running and build a new one now. Uh, the the challenge is going to be doing this in uh, in the right the, the the right side of the bridge. Because what I'm thinking is, if I if I set one up now, let's uh, let's get a, a nice max speedy kind of a bridge here. Uh, what do we look? Uh, standard poles. Stand. That, yeah, let's try that. Um, so no electrification. Uh, so you know, I'll I'll build a secondary bridge, uh, make it with enough track going on, and then we'll uh, we'll figure out exactly what we're doing. Um, Chances are, if I've got it installed, hold on, because I, I can never remember for certain whether I've got the uh, the flying junction installed. Uh, they got, got lots of lots of good stuff on here. Uh, isn't it a station? Flying junctions are a station, if I recall correctly. There we go. Uh, flying junction exchanged junction flying uh, with bricks. Let's have a let's have a look at the uh, the default version here. Now there's a lot of fiddling around uh, to be done with this. Um, in order to get it to work and obviously we're going to have to increase the, the the height of the track in order to get that to work as well I mean there's nothing to say that we have to do it with for the uh, for the goods line we could do it for for any of the lines that we're currently running um, but I think goods is the is the way to go given that there will be a whole lot more passenger routes running up and down here than there are goods routes uh, I think we'll end up with maybe two or three uh, by the time we're we're finished out, so you know there, there's there's no sense in uh, uh, in diverting all of the passenger lines for the extent for for the expense of like two or three goods routes. Anyway, all of this doesn't get us any further forward now, does it? Um, so what we want, we've got our goods line here, and all it needs to do is literally just jump that track, and we can go under or over or both, or this track can come out and can come over the top and then merge onto the side. That actually might be more dramatic. Let's hit a pause here and see how many more trains we've got to move. Uh, right, so if you're coming out here, where's the entrance of that tunnel? So if I built a new tunnel, we could come in this side. I know it all seems quite wasteful, but, uh, but you know, waste is, uh, is a thing that happens when it does. 
and then we're we're heading over onto this this swooping section here out towards Krakow. So uh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's. I'm, I'm going to have a fiddle, and we'll see where we get to. Right, crossing flying junction in brick, or exchange flying junction in brick, or uh, bifurcation flying junction in brick. Splendid. I've no idea what that means. Uh, what is a what's a bifurcation going to get us in the long run? Uh, let's try a bit of uh, a bit of uh, a spinneroo and and see what it looks like. Now, obviously, if we change the angles here, that can be made to work. These are all quite long. My goodness, I've got a lot of options to play with in here. Catenary, none, uh, none. Thank you. Let's start there. Number of tracks, upper and lower. So if we go with the lower track having four of, five of, four, three, five. They're all numbers. I, I, was, the temptation there is to be, that's number wang. Um, uh, but it isn't number wang at all. Uh, also, we want to keep the top section elevated. So I think we'll run a two-tier bridge kind of effort round here. Let's uh, let's shorten everything up a little bit. That's yeah, that's done something. Okay, good. Uh, if we just set everything to be, I don't know, twenty meters, twenty meters for is that the speed? Tell me what this is. Uh, original standard tracks, forty meter, one hundred and twenty. Uh, let's go hundred and something. I'm going to click buttons until this happens. Uh, now, professional people may have may have chosen to to investigate all of this stuff before they kicked off. Uh, which is why I'm only semi-professional, uh, maintaining my eligibility to compete in the Olympics. Uh, let's have a look. This doesn't appear to be shortening any of the track, which is kind of what I was hoping it would do. What have we got down here? Uh, transitions, yes, good. Radius, that'll be a bit of bit of curvature, presumably. Upper track's length. There we go, 25-25. Okay, well, that's, that's shorter on, on one side. Let's try... No, no, nothing going there. I tell you, look, this, this track... Uh, the, these, this mod might be absolutely inspired, uh, but if I can't figure out how to use it uh, just by having a bit of a poke around, then, uh, then that doesn't help me, does it? No, 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 no. You were in the right area because we've now got three shorties uh, rather than just one. There will be one more that you have yet to hit that will shorten things further. Upper track's length, lower track's length, right? Yes, done that. Form, solid. Okay, yeah, form, terror. Yes, form, bridge. Yes, I understand that. Uh, mirrored, yes, let's, let's mirror things. Good, one more to do. I saw another thing that said mirror here somewhere. I'm, I'm certain of it. I'm sure I saw it again, or maybe it was just through some random whatchamacallits. I, I'm, I, I would normally, and I know I don't edit very often, but I would normally edit this out while I figure it out, but I figured that, uh, that there's no harm in us doing it together. Uh, that way you can scream at the screen because you know what you're doing because you've had time to, uh, to check it out. Uh, while For those who've never checked out, this particular bit of modding uh, can go like, yeah, it does look quite baffling, doesn't it? Um, Radius? No, we don't know. We're not bothered about radius. Radius is not going to help us here. Transition B. Does that mean I was just looking at transition A? Can't rule that out. Well, mirroring was good, and I'd like to do it again, please. Um, in fact, I'm on bifurcation here. Maybe the regular crossing junction. Oh, hello. That's ah, where we're now in business. Fine. Good. Excellent. Uh, sold, I suppose. Um, now then, so we're coming in, and uh, once I once I fiddle with the angles, we can uh, we can understand what's uh, what's going on here. So if we look at the if we treat the bottom one as though it's the uh, the lead up to the bridge. In fact, if we rotate this round, no, it's not. It's uh, it's got rotational symmetry going on. Uh, right. So where's the adjust angle? Now, I've seen plenty of references to angle in here. You know how I said this wasn't going to take all day? Yeah. Right, what's 80% give us? That gives us that. All right, well, I want to go... I, don't, I want to do it slightly slightly differently. Um, because I want the over to be coming in from the side, which means I need it, uh, I need it the other side. So 20 degrees is not going to, uh, is not going to cut the mustard. 
there will be it'll do it we just it's just a matter of uh, of of figuring out the uh the the right area to go for here slope percentage no we don't need that upper tracks length no mirrored probably not tunnel length not interested uh general slope not slope we want angle we want the angle of assault maybe it's right at the start and we haven't been at the start for a couple of minutes so uh, so let's go back there standard tracks no 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 sink high speed no no that's not it i don't know what those do i think those are setting speed limits which is based on the speed limit mod that i've got uh, plumbed in uh we'll get there this is going to be worth it i i, I swear it says definitely definitely going to be worth it crossing angles this is the only place i've seen oh hold on what does that do one all right what if we go to nine whatever it did should be more apparent uh nope well try try it that way does that do it no it doesn't do it see look i need this over here right like that yep with the underlying track coming the other way so uh so you know whatever it is you're attempting to persuade me into doing here is not going to uh, is not going to fly uh we've got many dogs here and none of them are hunting um i don't think you can that doesn't seem right uh, surely you would make it so that you could flip it the other way around it honestly doesn't seem, seem right and obviously look i mean if i rotate it all the way it's the same thing so you know i'm missing something here uh which doesn't surprise me in the slightest maybe a, maybe it is a bifurcation that we're chasing after here in which case here we go again uh no no you see that's that's unhelpful oh, although, although you've got short end and long end right so there's short end and I just want it to I just want to flip it I want to turn it maybe mirror is the is the button that was actually doing that I find that uh well, let's have a look it's mirror duh see mirror had nothing to do with length whatsoever as you plainly know uh it rather it was uh it was the you, I got there all right you know let's get rid of this bit of rope somewhere. And then hope we get the same thing back again. Right, okay, now then. This is not conducive. I want to I need to shorten that uh that exit section there so that I can turn it into Ein Bridge. Um uh, right. Alright, okay, you know, progress comes a little at a time. Lower tracks length is that's no, that's that's cutting the length on the way in by the looks of it no that's doing absolutely nothing at all no that doesn't appear to be making any difference to anybody in the slightest although the the, the upper length is but the bottom length is not all right well in, instead of bifurcation maybe what we're looking for here is back to the standard one again now we've got the ah, you see that's that's about right uh so we're going to need to move the um uh, move the junction a little. In fact, we're going to need to move many junctions a little. Uh, we want at least three tracks underneath. So I think we want four underneath, uh, and then uh, and then probably two on top. There you go, uh, like that. So what I'm thinking here is that if you look, as you look at it now, the uh, the underneath section of track, you'll have two for passengers and then two for freight. Uh, so you'll have an up and a down uh, for both. Over the top, it's just going to be all passenger all the time and coming in from over here. Now, I need to just uh, tweak that angle a little. But how far off are we from being able to do some bulldoze here? Because my notion of, of creating a fresh junction I don't think is going gonna, is gonna to hold up. Right, let's get off that. Let's pause you here because I'm going to uh, I'm gonna need to clear some stuff out of the way. You might end up being in the wrong way there, dude, just so you know. How have we got anybody else coming in? You are. Well, you can you can stop as well. Right, keep it all rolling. Right, you're now clear. Don't let anybody else in. Whoop. I see what you're trying there, sunshine, but it's not happening. There you go, you stop as well. There we go, that's now cleared through. 
I possibly ought to clear this one so I've got a little bit more uh, space to play with at the other end. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Uh, right, you, come on, on your way. They need more jokers who try it from there as well. See, look, there comes the goods train. Uh, you cease. There you go, and another one. Stop. There we go. Right, now that should create enough of a log jam that I can now get to work. There we are, right. Uh, bulldoze everything. I know, it's a lovely bridge. Everyone was very pleased with it, but uh, it is no longer fit for purpose. Right, now then. Get rid of as much of this as possible. Right, now I can't go any further that way. And then we'll do this lot as well. Remember, this is the quick bit of today's show, because we're going to try and, you know, if I, if I get done in the next ten minutes, we'll uh, we'll crack on and get a uh, get another goods line going. Uh, right. Is that sufficient, or should I? Yeah, let's remove this bit as well. And this bit. Just give me a little bit more to play with. Right. Okay, happy. Now then, let's bring this back out again, because obviously we've, we've now committed to this, uh, this caper. Uh, we want to adjust the top angle to be a little bit more. Right, here we go. Back to scrolling endlessly through the menu. Uh, what have we got here? Crossing angles. That was easy. How's that? It's fine, but it don't half leave me, uh, me trains on top going the wrong way. Now, is it possible to add a bit of curve? Of course it is. You've just got to go and find it. Uh, you've also got that as a possibility, but that's no good. Because what I'm, without plunking this in, because what I don't want to do here is, is is spend a million and a half just to illustrate what I'm talking about. Uh, but if you look at the, the top deck there and its exit, it, it would be beneficial for it to actually hit the uh, the bottom deck again so it can merge into the, the, the uh, passenger junction coming up. And obviously, I want to make that. I see. <clears throat> obviously, I want to make that junction as uh, as streamlined as possible. Um. Now we can move the. Uh, we, I mean, we can move the whole the whole show here. We can we can move it as much as we please. Uh, but having a an incredibly you know sharp angle. I know. Look, it's pointing. It, it's going like. Look, this works perfectly if you do it for freight. It doesn't, though, because freight doesn't want to go that way. Um, and interestingly, I could have just used a bridge for this and then run the freight line underneath in a straight line on its own bridge. Uh, but uh, I've committed to this course of action now, or I've decided I've committed to this course of action. Uh, now, then, we can pull it that way, but yet then you've got a massive swan neck going in there. Now, you can move the swan neck out by changing the route that comes out for uh, Indianapolis. It's not Krakow, it's Indianapolis. Um... That might have some. That might have some legs. Uh, okay. Let, all right. Okay. Let's make this like. Let's leave that as it is. What does this do? One. Yes. Nine. Yes. Nothing that I can actually see that there's a difference in uh, in what's going on. Have we got another bit of track there? We have, haven't we? Okay, right, okay, that's not it. Uh, radius, let's try that. Oh, yeah, that's that's made all the difference. Uh, 5,000 radius, nope. 200 radius, ah, oh, there you go, that's what we were looking for. Right, so we want to we want to play with the radius of the upper tracks. Uh, bend it. Not like Beckham, bend it like someone who knows what they're doing. There you go, I think we're there. I think we're about there, that's, I mean, that's too much bend, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yes, what what was that in English? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's, it's a lot of words, isn't it? Uh, let's shallow and shallow and the angles. Uh, shallow and is a word. Uh, and then we just want a little bit of bend on the top, which we could probably do. You know, what? I'm I'm about to pull the trigger on this. I just want to leave enough room so that we can get a bridge going. Because uh, otherwise we're going to be a couple of million quid out of pocket. There we go. Uh, there is the suggestion here that I might not have made that track fast enough. So let's... Can we upgrade it? 
afraid not, Chief. You are stuck with what you've got. All right, well, tell me how fast it is. 12. 12 is a bit slow, isn't it? Uh, can we interact with it? Yes, we can. Right. Um, well, how does one uh, how does one make it make it faster? Uh, what have we got at the moment? Standard tracks thirty five meters twenty. Standard tracks thirty five meters ninety. Okay. Uh, has that done what uh, what we needed? Don't know if that's just a reading on what's there already. Um, and I'll tell you what, what about high speed? Just just make it high speed. All right, don't mess around with it. Just make it high speed, and then that's all that's all sorted. Now, that means the track's going to be a little different in colour, uh, but, uh, yeah, see, that's that's less than ideal, isn't it? I do suspect that the, uh, the smoothing gun here is not going to be able to do a lot about that in the slightest. Can we, uh, can we sink it? Uh, let's make it a bit bigger. I'm going to sink that bit. Can't sink anything here. Make it really small. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's me out of out of pocket there, isn't it? All right. What if we what if we select it again? Try another upgrade and see if we can get rid of that. Okay. Right. One twenty and then three hundred. No. One twenty. Yes. Okay. Well, how about one sixty? Yeah, it's okay with 160. Well, I mean, tell you what, actually, that's not the end of the world because that's the, the good side of things. Uh, and a good strain doing 300 uh, kilometers an hour is really quite fast. Okay, right, now then, that's now happy, probably. Um, so let's uh, let's turn this into a bridge. 160, 50 meter spacing. What's the default spacing? I can never remember. Uh, 20, standard modded, standard modded, urban gas, 50. Okay. Uh, so then we rock across the uh, rock across the pond here. There we go, dropping to 37, which is a delight. It's not going to drop to 37. It's going to drop to something better than that. Steel bridge, 75. Steeler bridge, 99. Still quite slow, but you know what? I'm okay with it doing 99 across the bridge. That's that's perfectly acceptable. Um, Right, there we are. Everything comes across here. Beautiful. And uh, do we need? Do we want to snap this, or should we just? Oh, it seems to seems to be quite happy to uh, to do its own thing. Would be quite nice to match the girders up on both sides, though. There you go. Spot of that. Spot of this. All right, that's one side done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to hook all of that lot up, but that's that's fine. That's just a bit of a bit of a corner remodel. Uh, then here, we're running three tracks for reasons that are somewhat beyond me. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure why we're running three tracks there. But we are, so there's that. You're just a high-speed track. Nah, we're not ready to go high-speed track yet, because it's a different colour. Uh, do the other side first. Now, we're going to go... Uh, ah, actually, you need to... You need to speak to here. Because the other side of the track, that's my uh, that's my my freight line, which means that this chap here is going to get very confused, um, and I've also mangled my junction here well and proper. Uh, get rid of that, lay it back in here, All right, and then uh, see if we can't. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna need to delete this. There you go, and then do a bit of that. Go on, do a bit of that. There you are. That's more or less as it was. Uh, and then, for my next trick, why have we got some buffers on there? Probably probably not harmful. And then you can pull around onto there. Yuck. Uh, yeah, okay, that 44 that it was suggesting it wanted to do might actually be what we have to do. In fact, if I drop it more, then we do get a, a straight run here. Like so. That's horrendous, though. And because this is part of the uh, the interior junction, it's not great, is it? Uh, that's a very sharp corner, um, and I could probably I could probably we rework this mess over here to uh, to to interact a little bit smoother. 
especially since I'm I'm quite likely to uh, to to run more trains up here over time. Uh, the other alternative, I could do I could do a bit of that. Yeah, what are you hoping to accomplish there? I don't know. It just looks nice. Uh, can we do another one? No, you can't. Uh, you can't do that. Ah, but we did see previously. Uh, go back here. Go to that one. We did see something like that. A track ladder. Yes. And what of it? Uh, turnout. No. Oh my. This is just as complicated. Uh, altitude adjustment. No, we don't need to worry about that. Let's just keep it keep it simple. That's the track type. Uh, number of tracks. Nine. Oh, there you go. That's uh, that's nine tracks turning out. Uh, equal, uh, beautifully spaced as well. That's that's rather nice. Um, doesn't help us though. Doesn't, does it? No, it doesn't. That's why that's what I was just talking about. But I'm 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 here and I'm curious now. Uh, slope, no. Height of of wall, really? You can put a wall next to it. Oh, okay, fine. If if that's if that's what takes your fancy, there's a bit of more wall. Uh, the type of wall and the distance between the wall and the track. But clearly, the wall is a big feature for this particular piece of modification. Uh, turnout number four. Oh, turnout turnout distance maybe. Yeah, okay, that's the distance between turnouts. Right, I understand how that works. That's fine. Uh, what are you? You're a crossover. You're a set of switches. What do you do? Doesn't matter where I put it, apparently. It's not possible. Uh, compact. Yeah, can't use it. Doesn't work. All right, never mind. Get back to uh, get back to getting this finished, and then we'll uh, then we'll crack on. Because if nothing else, let's get it running, uh, and then we'll figure out the complexity of the thing in a moment. Uh, not entirely sure how we ended up with buffers there, but we had them anyway. So if we rock this one over onto there for the moment then we should have an upstream and downstream on that section of track. Uh, let's get rid of this as well. I'll, I'll, well. I'll have a bit of a rethink once we've got it running, uh, because uh, getting it running is the bit that uh, that matters in the uh, first instance. Right, let's, uh, let's bulldoze this, because, I, I mean, I only recently built it, which means it's, uh, it's already had its, its natural life, and we should be getting rid of it about now. Beautiful. Uh, quite why I've got three sections of track heading out towards the goods area, I have no idea. Uh, the four here makes sense, though. So what we're going to want to do is pick a side, any side, and then use that as the uh, as the default the default line here. Bit of a bit of a bend. All right, rock it back a bit further. Had hoped for a little further than that. If we can get it up to about 90, that would be nice. I tell you what, let's do the easy side first. And then we can just uh, we can just mirror it along from the other one. All right, there's that. And then something like that. So that's 99, which would be absolutely brilliant, but it's not going to do 99. So if we put a bit of track in here, uh, and then we roll that around the corner. Just, just roll. I don't know what you're trying to do there, but that's not what I want from you. You like that. 78. Slower than is desirable, but uh, but fast enough to care. Uh, let's then you know, need a little bit more uh, a little bit more runway than that, I think. Let's do a bit of that and some of this. Then try it again. Right, so you I want to then merge over here in a very splendid fashion but faster. All right, we're going to need to do it a bit closer to the bridge, it appears. Also, why have I got a what have, why have I got a hink in my track there? It's because you've snapped it. A uh, hink there apparently is a word that I've decided is, is appropriate to use for this particular occasion. Uh, how's that? That's nice and quick. Where can I pull that back to and it still works? About there. 83 is the drop off. All right, no, look, we did let's let's call this the theoretical version and then we'll do the full version to to kind of iron out the kinks in it. Uh, and that should make everything, you know, splendid. 
Right, there we are, all the way over here. That's it. You get you on there. Thank you, and then you come round here because that the the junction that goes around the top end of Krakow, it's uh, it's a bit of a mess, but it does kind of work. There we are. Is that satisfactory? Well, it's operational. Satisfactory or no, that is uh, that is now working, allegedly. Uh, now then, for my next trick, we're going to do something over here that involves something. Uh, we're going to need to double these junctions, which I think they're all done already. Yeah, yeah, they're all done. All right, that's uh, so that's that should be fine. Mr. Freight will now be able to wend his way whence he needs to wend. Um, and then we just need to sort this bit out. Now this is going to be rather steep, I think, and uh, and rather wonky. How much is this costing me? 34k. All right, we'll take it. Um, because I've got to get the trains out of the way. Once the trains are out of the way, I'll, I'll rethink this and make it go a little bit faster. Uh, but for now, that will uh, that will suffice to uh, to get uh, get our operations uh, happening. So this then leads to a slightly curved and uh, curvaceous bridge that comes over this way. You know all that talk about you know, and then I'm going to build a goods line today. Yeah, I think we all know that that's not happening, don't we? Uh, yeah, I think get this running and then get it running well is going to be our objective. Um, right, now, the the go the ideal would be that we end up on these two lines here, but I can't see that happening either. So I think what we should probably aim for is merging onto the main line, which is going to snafu things a little bit. Um, but merge onto the main line once it quads up uh, and then fix it, as it were. Right, there's the bridge. Uh, yes. What else do we think? Uh, what else do we think we could do with that? Um, now I could go a little bit less sharp on the angle there. In fact, we could possibly uh, we could possibly get a little bit of hayway made. Hayway. Just just go with it. Um, yeah, okay, so if we've straightened up by there, that's better, like so. Now, shall we uh, use the same bridge type there for a bit of consistency? Doesn't really match the uh, the brickwork that was there, does it? No, we'll stick with the brickwork w that was there for, for a consistent approach. Uh, whether it is whether it is faster or slower is neither here nor there. We will we'll keep it consistent uh, in the sake of appearances. Six million? Thanks. Uh, and then we'll do this one as well. Marvellous. And then we'll run it down over this side. Okay, right, well that's that's stage one, let's call that. Uh, now, stage two is going to get it to be to, uh, to merge in, and I reckon just before this bridge. So if we pull out a junction here, it's crossing over a whole bunch of lines there, which is obviously helpful. Um, Arguably, I know what you're going to say. Arguably, another flying junction here would be uh, would be perfect. And it has to be said, I don't disagree with you. Uh, except, except I do need trains from both sides to be able to do both sides. So that so a flying junction isn't actually going to cut it. Uh, not without uh, a whole slew of, of points and what have you. I'll tell you, this is going to get the napkins flying like no tomorrow. Um, yes. There we go. Right, so this is this is what it needs to do. There you go. Come around onto that. Oh, yeah, you don't want to go that way, do you? Right, we'll go from here and around the corner. And snap. There we are. See how easy I made that look. It's because I'm a pro. Uh, right, okay, and... Yeah, and that's now doing... It, it's making... It might not be doing exactly what I want, but it's making the connection I'm after. And that's uh, that's the critical uh, critical path. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, one more. Yeah, we'll slip everything just to give it maximum choiceage. Now then, it says that there's still three trains that can't get where they want to go, and that could be because I've got... Um, uh, something in the way. 
Train 29 reports problems. I should say so. Uh, I think the problem is you've partially disappeared. I think these are probably just the trains that I've stopped. Then 54, which is that one. That's 29. And then the last one is 45, which is here, which I've also stopped. They are the only trains now reporting problems. I, I think there'll be more than that. Uh, but let's have a look and see what we've actually got going on here. Uh, if we go visible only. Right, so there's my good service. Going up and down on one track because it hasn't got any sense. Uh, this one is going up and down on two tracks. Uh, it's doing the wrong two though. Because it wants to go up there. Well, who's using this one then? Because I've used that one. Or have I? No, I haven't. That lives there for, for reasons that I, I can't fully fathom. Um, meanwhile, we've got an awful lot of traffic going over the, the, the new bridge. That's going to be jolly good fun. Right, if we tell everybody just to start going again, and then we'll, we'll, we'll tweak the routes uh, once everybody's in motion. You hear that, people? Route tweaking. It's coming. Uh, right, now then, let's, uh, let's get some signals up. Yeah, I am using semaphores. What of it? Uh, right. Uh, now then, I doubt I can put... Yeah, I can't put any on the flying junction itself, but I can put some on the bridge. Now, this is a this is a high-traffic zone, uh, which is... I mean, that's why we're here in the first place. Um, but that's why I'm going to... I'm going to fully cluster up quite a lot of signals going on here. And then hopefully we can we can sort it out afterwards. Right, put one there. Now then, what have we got going on here? You're going up that way. You're going up that way. That's fine. You're coming out this way, but that will block something. So you are history. Okay, right. And then when you get down to this point, uh, that's likely to block. That's likely to block. So you are also history. You two, however, are fine, but you could be a little bit closer to the action. So we'll, we'll move you. Meanwhile, everybody's just sounding their hooters all the time. Whistles, uh, hooters, whatever you want to call them. Uh, because they're all kind of going, this is terrifying. Uh, I don't want to be driving down here while he's kind of going, don't worry about the signals. I'm taking these ones away and putting some new ones in for you. Anyway, so far, they seem to be moving. Uh, there's nothing in the, uh, in the alert center. Which is good. Right, now then, where do we want our next set? Well, we definitely need some out here somewhere, don't we? Right, you are upstream, no matter which way you cut it, so we'll put one on there. And then on the downstreams, if we find both of them, if we stick one about here and one about there, that will work. Uh, and then, if we stick another set about here, and yes, it is a little close to the junction that was behind us, but it should help facilitate things moving. And this is where we would have quite liked to have another set of uh, another set of flying junction going on. Although I suspect I've bunched things up a little, having uh, having frozen several services for a minute or two. I think that's certainly possible. Let's have a look and see if this is all still flowing correctly. Only one service using that side. I think orange, whatever oranges could use that side as well, you know. Although, that does have to, uh, to leave to go to Barcelona. So no, orange can stay where it is. But only one service each side on there. That seems a little bit wasteful. Not to worry. We will be packing all of this lot out with a whole bunch more in due course, I'm sure of it. Uh, okay, right, now then. Well, that, that's, you know, we're moving. Uh, where's my food train? You don't look like food. You look more like uh, exactly what you are, which is oil. Where is the... Oh, yeah, you froze the food train. You get going again, and then we've, uh, then we've got everything that we've just set up actually rocking and rolling. Now then, let's have a look at this section here while there's nothing on it. Uh, in fact, we'll pause to do that. Um, now then, uh, show me who's using what here. Green. Okay, so we that's, I mean, that's going to break. I, I, I've none of you thought this through, because that's, that's a recipe for disaster. 
and I, I find it hard to believe that I've only got one line that actually uses this route. As the AI figured out a new route for whatever else it was that was coming this way, because if so, that's going to be exciting, and I'm probably not going to discover it for a little while. Uh, right, so what is this line actually for? Because this gets into the goods network here. I mean, it might be that that, that purely exists to uh, to service a depot of some description, but that, again, that seems unlikely. I've put no signals on it, so it obviously doesn't serve any any particular great purpose. Right, now then, if we kill off all of this... Like that. And then we can, uh, we can work it, uh, sister, uh, rather like this. Here we go. Sling that down there, and then, and then, if we're very lucky, it will figure it out straight away and go, oh, okay. Oh, look, an upstream and a downstream. Yes, look at that. That's much better. Maybe, maybe, uh, all of the, look at this rubbish. Deary me, I should be flogged. Uh, that is, that is disgusting. Um... Yeah, oh, that's, that's just revolting. That's so bendy that, uh, that that's no fun in the slightest. And these two bits of track here are completely redundant for the time being because very little appears to go straight from the kind of the Krakow uh, circle over to wherever we're going here. This is El Paso, isn't it? Um, well, I, I, if, any, if nothing else, I think that makes it ripe for, uh, for an additional root or seven. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll probably look at that in a minute. Uh, let's have a... Yeah, just just signal up wherever you like. There's no one using the thing, and then we'll uh, th then we'll very simply just run this extra bit of track. Very very simply, I said. That means you're not allowed to fight me. Here we go. Uh, extra bit of track like that. No, all right. Do it like this, and then do the last bit on top of it like that. There you go. And then, if anybody decides they desperately need that better track, then uh, then it's there for them to uh, to use as they see fit. And then, for my next trick, we shall make the uh, the goods train use both sides of the track. Uh, which, if we're lucky, it will figure out for itself when I just stick a quick set of signals on there. See? I know you didn't think that was going to work, did you? But it did. Again, that's that's just ultimate professionalism coming into play. Uh, right, and then, yeah, that's that's okay, but we'll stick a set of signals here so that we've got uh, the ability to queue. Uh, we'll stick another set just around the corner. We won't stick, there you go, just around the corner. There's only one route that uses that right now, so it doesn't really matter too greatly. But there we go. Right, now then, that should have everything gloriously running. As you can plainly see by the amount of stuff that is currently running gloriously. Uh, and you know what I'm going to do? I've got, you know, we've got a bit of time left here. Let's have a look at running another goods service up here. Hello, Shanghai. Yeah, okay, right. New freight line is now back on. God, you keep moving. Uh, right, so if I want Shanghai to, to operate here, then what we should do is continue this section of track. Are we going to get it underneath that road bridge? No, we're not going to get it underneath the road. The road bridge is going to go, you what? No, no, you can't have it. Tough. All right. And we all know what happens in these areas. If we delete the road bridge. There, see? When road says, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Rail Network Engineer, uh, I can't allow you to do that. We kind of go, that's what you think. Uh, have you met my friend, the bulldozer? Uh, for it is quick to anger and uh, and swift to bulldoze. Uh, right, okay, now we want to get this turnout. So what we're thinking here is we, we turn out from the goods line here, uh, head over this way with a bit of a, you know, bit of a bit of an extra bit of track and then we'll rock it down to here. Someone's house is not going to make it uh, and then we'll set up our goods station down there. Let's set up the goods station first. That's the smarter thing to do. Okay, none of those are goods stations. Well done, sir. 
Uh, right, freight station, it's going to be a terminal. Uh, number of tracks, A. Make it fairly long, because we're going to be here for a bit. Uh, no electrification needed, no second streets. The reason that I'm not putting in second streets on there is because the second streets in question will be absolutely miles away from civilization. Uh, let's then... Now, we could either bend it uh, again, or we could just bulldoze it. All right, we don't need to bulldoze two houses now, do we? Unless you force me, if you force me to bend uh, to, to blow up two houses, I will do. Uh, but we'll blow up the cheap ones, like so. I haven't even checked the other end. That's the level of confidence that I'm bringing to this uh, uh, particular party. And then, uh, then we'll run our train out here. We'll keep this single track for the time being. There you go. Get across there. I think something slightly nicer than uh, than a wooden uh, wooden pillar number will uh, will do the job there. Four and a half million down the pan. Excellent. Keep it running. Oh look, there's some trucks doing some truck type stuff. Well, this road needs upgrading anyway. Pause. Right. Start. Shovel all those along. Now, when you're deleting road that has your own trucks on it, uh, try and push them along the road. It makes your life a lot easier. Uh, otherwise, you end up trying to do something else, and that's not easier. There you go. Another top tip. Very well, clearly communicated uh, today. Right, you come out like this. See, this is this is just, you know, it's amazing what you can accomplish in ten minutes when you decide that money is no object and you're just going to get on with it. Uh, yeah, rock that around there. Is that put a hump in things? No, it hasn't. It's just easing out the curve. It just looks like it. You're just getting a bit of perspective wobble go on there because uh, because you, you're carving through the landscape. Keep it going. We'll double track this for no good reason other than I might run two trains on here instead of one. Uh, right, there we go. You on there. Then set of points. Fabulous. Uh, set of signals. Set, set of signals. On there. And then we'll do a couple more up here. Now, even if I'm running multiple trains down here, they should never bunch up this much. So spacing the signals out will actually help accomplish that particular dream. Uh, right, one set on there, and another set on here. And then another set for everybody on there. Don't forget to put the road back in. All right, I'll do it now. Very good. Well done. Continue as you were. There you are. Get over there like so. That's close. What's it done down there? Because it's 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 fair mangled that bit. Yeah, but it's got the job done. All right, choose a bit of uh, a bit of road we like, and it looks like that. That is the worst looking bridge I have built so far today. But the day is is not yet over. I will come back and fix that later because the only thing that matters to me currently is that I get this finished and and running and what have you. Uh, and then we'll worry about everything else in due course. Uh, give me some signals on there. Thank you. Right, that's good. Okay, well, what do you know? Look at that. Shanghai hooked up. Uh, uh, Shanghai imports. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't export anything. Now, then, what's actually in the catchment radius here? What else have you missed? You missed out that truck line that you bulldozed, which is actually quite important. It is, in fact, more than quite important. It is pretty critical to the whole operation working. So you better get to work on that and put it back together again now. All right. Kill off this lot. And then, I don't think we're going to get any large in here. Now, I'm starting to think about large country roads rather than anything smaller than that because uh, uh, the trucks are going to get faster than those lower rates can, uh, can support. There you go. If you get through there like that, I know you're not quick, but uh, but that's okay because we'll we'll give you a little bit of cornering here, and then we'll turn you into uh, international superhighway. Now then, do we want to do a level crossing? That's a trick question. We never want to do a level crossing unless we absolutely have to. Uh, instead, we're going to do ourselves a lovely, 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 obvious, easy peasy bridge. And, uh, oh, okay, we've zoomed out for this. Zoom back in. That's a quarter of a million you won't see again. 
No, they're green girder. Because green girders are the uh, are the wave of the future. Yeah, keep that running straight. We'll, uh, we'll adjust the incoming bit of road there. Sorry, Mr. Miggins, your house is forfeit. Uh, I know that wasn't your regular house. That was your weekend abode. Uh, but uh, again, you will insist on building on the edge of town. Uh, and, and, and that's never going to end well for you. Uh, right then. Um, that all looks good. We just need to sort out catchment, which is what we were about to look at before I got distracted by roads. Honestly, I've never known anyone get quite as distracted by everything as I do. Uh, and then, get off that. Click on this for a bit of catchment. So we've got some commercial in there, but obviously over here is where the uh, where the big bucks live. So if we put in a bit more uh, a bit more town road here, town road. Thank you. Large street. We'll put in some uh, some grosser Strasse here. Oh yeah, because it's German for some reason in Shanghai, uh, and then. I don't really want to bulldoze all three of you. Uh, how about making it look like a loading bay? Now, this uh, this loading bay road, it doesn't actually have any specific function. It just looks good. And, uh, and you know, does it look good? Yes, I'll take it, uh, is uh, is a saying that we uh, we have here at, uh, at Failurewood HQ. Um, so if we run that as, as like a whole bunch of truck bay there, nice. I mean, that was expensive, but uh, it's uh, it always amuses uh, how in early in the series I'm going, oh, that's an extra five grand. I don't really want to spend that. Later in the series, you're going, that's an extra five million. Yeah, 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 get it spent. Let's do it. Come on, progress, etc. Right, there we go. That'll do. I don't know why I laid it out like that particularly, but uh, I have done. Uh, town authorities complain that crack out of Shanghai has been disrupted. All right, where did I bulldoze that? It's going to be up here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, no, it's up here. But you're going to want a little junctionette, I should say. All right, we can we can do that. I can give you a bit of medium country road because I'm feeling charitable. But realistically, if you people want to commute between those two towns, I heartily recommend the train uh, as the means to do so. Right, okay, so now we need to uh, truck stop that up. Trucks, yes, and two bay drive through on side. Better than an offside drive through, I suppose. Oh, that's fun! And as luck would have it, I've built something that that might be uh, might be supportive of. Although I doubt very much we're going to get industrial in uh, in the catchment area there, unless uh, somebody's industrial unit happens to get bulldozed in the very near future. It's likely. Right. There we go. So that's the catchment we've got. Yeah, so I mean, if I put another road in here, then we've got quite a lot of industrial in the catchment as well as quite a lot of commercial in there as well. Certainly enough to uh, to provide demand to uh, to import some uh, some goodies. So we'll do that and then uh, give me the uh, regular medium-ish street and we'll hook that up on here. 1.3 million... Now, I mean, I was talking a moment ago about how I'm quite happy to fritter away a bit of cash, but that's not a bit of cash. That's like all of the cash. Uh, how about coming out this way? Thank you, autosave. Uh, it's nice to see you. Uh, loving your work. Do you want to get a wriggle on? Come on. There you go. Go on. There you are. Uh, 400k, 300k, and that's three buildings. Look, mate, I, it'll let me do three buildings here for 300k. So I have done. Nice catchment. Okay, good. Shanghai uh, trucking. Oh yeah, without the G. Uh, it means it. It's it's hip. It's down with the times. Its logo looks like it could be for a skateboard company. Um, right, now then, let's get rid of this uh, this Tramley demo. Demo? demo? Depot. Uh, and we'll stick a large one of these in here. Now what I'm really looking forward to is the uh, is the mass truck stop. But we're still a little early for the mass truck stop, so we'll we'll add that later on. There we are. Right, let's route this up. Uh, you can set things rolling again. There you go. Uh, right, so from Shanghai Halt to Shanghai Trucking. 
and it does a nice little loop around there. I would have gone the other way, personally. I'd have gone out this way, come around the corner, and then gone out back around like that, so you didn't cross over yourself. But that's just me. Uh, Shanghai. Ooh, uh, S-H-A-N. I don't know, what's the... Uh, S-H-N-G. Okay, fair enough. S-H-N-G. Uh, goods. Delivery. And then uh, set up another route. Which goes from here to... Now! Now we get to play. Pick which uh, platform you're coming into. Uh, do I have an available one? I do have an available one. Uh, this one, I think. Uh, if we go into there, uh, we turn that green. Is that? Oh, yeah, it is. It's this green, and it's it's selected that one to go into. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, I suppose nobody else appears to be using it at the moment, so that's that's fine too. Uh, so this is going to be uh, S H N G uh, goods. Nah, let's uh, be more highfalutin. Freight bulk. Not that goods is an, is an unhighfalutin word, but uh, but freight just feels a little bit more formalised and uh, uh, you know manly men wielding hammers and an oil can, uh, which is very much what I aspire to be. Um, now then, let's uh, let's get some trucks going on the truck inside of things, because otherwise we can set this in motion and nothing will happen. Road depot it on there and given that we possibly need a tram depot here uh, I may we'll worry about trams another time I think uh, internal passenger lines is something that I'm going to have to uh, consider in the near future uh, now then I think it's it might well be uh, Volvo time given that we've got some Volvos right yeah uh, this is this is going to be awkward. Oh, hold on. The flatbed looks like it'll do just about everything. Will you do fuel? Yes. Tools? Yes. You'll do food? No. Unhelpful. Uh, what about a box van? Food? Oh, hold on. It might have done food. It didn't. Box van. Food? Yes. Fuel? Tools? Yes. Uh, anything else that we deliver to here? Fuel? Tools? Food? Do I do anything else? I'm sure I do something else. Really, I've only managed to get three end materials created so far. That's quite lacklustre. Oh, construction materials. Yeah, it does that as well. Right, those are the ones. Box fans. Uh, what about the dumper? No, it's definitely not the dumper. Right, we'll go with, uh, let's say, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, which is going to be overkill. Um, how much do they take? Ten. Yeah, let's let's sell some of those back again. Five. Set line, Shanghai, uh, goods delivery. There we are. Of course, Shanghai is the home of the electro trolley. How could I forget? Uh, right, let's have a quick look at uh, quick look at a bit of Volvo action. Very nice. In green. I don't think we want them in green. I think we want them in a different color, color uh, and I think that color is grey because grey is great. Yeah, see, that's businesslike. Uh, okay, right, that's that running, and then we want to stick a train on there. Now, Shanghai, we have the option to go with just about anywhere we like in the world, uh, as far as the, the origin of the train is concerned. So, so, what do you think about that, then? Well, I, I really don't have any, any particular notions. Now, I need to choose a depot that will lead me out to where I need to go, so I can choose, well, any of them, really. Uh, let's take number one, my trains. Come on, in your own time. Obviously, I haven't loaded up the train menu today. Uh, we've been too busy faffing around with a junction. All right, what have you got for me? You're going to be pulling a Naffy's car, just so as you know. So, uh, you know, make your own mind up. 40 miles per hour for this Russian is a little on the slow side. What about this uh, South, the South African? That would work. 53 miles per hour. It's not swift, is it? Just one of these a little bit... Uh, the Torpedo MX Tender for branch line use, or High Capacity Class MT Tender. Well, I think this big, this big bulky tender looks a little more unusual. It doesn't look as good, in my personal opinion, uh, but it does look a little bit more unusual, so we'll go with that. And frankly, this is a good excuse to use a South African train. Um, 
And then let's find our South African uh, flat car to go with it. And we'll go with a capacity of, I don't know, let's, uh, let's put 12 on there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 132. There is no way this thing's going to make much money, I would have thought. Uh, Shanghai Freight Bulk. Off you go. There we go. What do you know? We're off. We're running. Uh, I did build a freight line after all. Uh, anyway, I've been Colonel Failure, and uh, and that will that, that will wrap us up for today. Uh, before I wrap us up for today, however, I ought to talk about a napkin, shouldn't I? Uh, let's go find one. Uh, here we go. Marvellous. Uh, so this is uh, the the Grand Junction approach as uh, as reimagined by Gamer Five One Four. As you can see, it's quite a quite a complicated junction going on here. Um, What's your problem, Tiger? What are you afraid of? Come on out. You're waiting for a free path. Which to me says, you're waiting for me to put a signal in there somewhere. Alright, well, this is my... That's that. So if we put a, if we put a signal on here... There you go. You can at least come out that far. And then you'll have a fighting chance of going a little bit further. Uh, obviously, if you want to uh, submit your own track plans there, you should, uh, because uh, they'll get featured. I'll, I'll, I'll do one an episode until there are no more to do, and then we'll kill it off. So this feature is going to remain uh, for as long as people continue to submit suggestions. Uh, anyway, there you go. That's that. There you go. There's our, here's our new train look. It's not quick. It's the only thing that concerns me even slightly. Uh, it's a two-dude train, this one. But it uh, certainly looks the part. Very nice. Uh, now then, for my uh, for my last trick here, what we're going to do is we're going to follow this along over uh, the, uh, the new junction. Um, because uh, that would then tie together everything that we've been talking about. And it would also almost make it look like I had some kind of plan when we started today. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's talk about what's coming up next. Um, so I, I've been talking for a little while about getting a, a steel or iron-based uh, uh, set up. Root is the word I was going for there. Hold on. I'm not convinced you're doing this right. Because you're on the wrong side of the track, you know. Okay, that's fine. This is a one-off. You could still cause a disaster, though. You know that, right? Um, and yeah, uh, what was I saying? Yes, a, a steel or iron-based uh, goods route uh, has been on the aspiration list for a little while. Uh, and, uh, and we're going to get to that next time. Because uh, we're now starting to run sufficient um, uh, kind of bulk freight delivery services... Uh, that we should be thinking about bringing in more bulk freight to ensure that they uh, they run at maximum capacity. So if you'd like to see that happen, there's a reasonable chance that it will happen in the next episode. Anyway, thanks for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Please uh, subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on what's happening next. I'm going to leave you with absolutely nothing to watch. Maybe this guy. Uh, fling a like at this one if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio!